If we're going to go back to our Nancy Cortez in Brooklyn, she is with Bernie Sanders campaign manager Jeff Weaver. Nancy. Thanks, Elaine. Jeff, Bernie Sanders needed a game changer here in New York. Do you think he got it tonight in the debate? Oh, absolutely. Look, the debate was all about Bernie Sanders' vision and agenda for America. Uh, and there were a lot of questions about Secretary Clinton's uh, judgment and, what, and her inability to answer, you know, pointed direct questions. Does she support a carbon tax? You know, how aggressively will she fight climate change? What's her real position on Social Security? I just don't think we heard a lot about that. He also went after her very hard over her donations from Wall Street and her speeches to Wall Street. But right. Hillary Clinton did have a point. If he's going to push her to release her speeches, shouldn't he release his tax returns nearly a year after he got into this race? Well, he certainly said he wouldn't. We're going to put the 2014s out tomorrow. But she released hers eight years ago. I mean, eight months ago, sorry. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that she did it then. Uh -huh. uh, now, if she could release her speeches, that would be great. We'd love to know what's in those speeches. I think America wants to know what she said to Wall Street uh, and all these other special interests. The case that Clinton made a couple of times tonight is that it is easy to diagnose the problem, and Sanders is very good at that, but it's harder to come up with solutions. And when he was going after her, let's say, say on fossil fuels, uh, arguing that she's not aggressive enough, she said, you know, she was, she was in there in the trenches negotiating international climate deals, and he sort of dismissed that as just paper. Uh, she's arguing that you don't get everything you want in negotiations, but she's done the hard work. Well, that's true. You don't ever get to get everything you want in negotiations. But look, she was in, as Secretary of State promoting fracking around the world. That's not dealing with climate change. I mean, Bernie Sanders has the most comprehensive climate change legislation in the Congress. So he has a plan. He has a health care plan. On issue after issue, he has a concrete plan. The truth of the matter is the Secretary's like agenda is relatively thin. I mean, on health care, she wants to, quote, unquote, build in the Affordable Care Act. What does that mean? She doesn't have any substance to her plans. So she has a lot of talking points and slogans, but not really a lot of plans. So it's easy for her to criticize his plans. It'd be nice if she had a few on these important issues. People would like to see them. Uh, I want to ask you about the path going forward sure. uh, after New York. Uh, you have said that you're going to stay in this race until the end. Does that mean that even if it becomes a near mathematical impossibility for your campaign to get the delegates that you need, you will stay in anyway? Well, let me just say this. I mean, as a mathematical matter, it looks like neither candidate will get the number of pledged delegates required to clinch the, de the nomination before the convention. That's neither candidate, will, even Secretary Clinton, she is not going to have in pledged delegates the number needed. So we're going to go to the convention with each with a number of pledged delegates, and then we're going to have to talk to the super delegates. The super delegates aren't really pledged to anybody, even though uh, TV stations typically put them in somebody's column. They're free to change their vote. Uh, they're free to vote who are, for whomever they want. And we're going to make the case that Bernie Sanders is clearly the strongest candidate to beat the Republicans in the fall and to win not just the White House, but to win up and down the ballot. Uh, I want to ask you about some news that broke today about your new director, a very short-lived director of Jewish Outreach. She was hired just a couple of days ago, uh, but uh, some past statements that she made about Bibi Netanyahu using some swear words to describe him surfaced. Did your campaign not vet her properly before she was hired? What happened there? Well, we clearly vet everybody who gets hired. Uh, once in a while, something gets through. And, uh, you know, in this case, we thought it was, you know, not appropriate. And so she's been suspended. But she had sort of an unusual profile for the, the typical director of Jewish outreach in the first place in that she uh, opposed Jewish settlements in, you know, she, she supported a two-state solution. Well, she, well, I think there are a lot of Jewish people who support a two-state solution, frankly. You know, and she'd been a member of some Jewish organizations who uh, want to have a, you know, a two-state solution there and to pull back on settlements. I mean, I, I don't think that the Jewish community, like any other community, is monolithic on all of these issues. Uh, Bernie Sanders is a strong supporter of the state of Israel. It's right to defend itself. It's right to live in peace and security. Uh, but he also wants to see that the Palestinian uh, people get a, a fair shake as well. Got it. Jeff Weaver, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Got it. Elaine. All right, Nancy, thank you so much.